Building a bed platform with a drawer can be challenging, which is why in this video, I'm gonna show you how I went about it in the simplest of ways. Stay tuned. A big thank you to my friend Hank, who was kind enough to lend a helping hand and to use all of his tools. Go Milwaukee. I want to keep things simple. This entire project is built using 5 8 sanded pine. No need to complicate things. Slightly embarrassing, apparently I didn't even need this tool. But I didn't know. It's time to cut three identical pieces for the frame of the platform. Let me know in the comments section below if you notice what I did wrong. For my frame pieces, I decided to go five feet by six and a half inches. The exciting part, time to assemble. We are bringing everything together with a little bit of Gorilla Glue, making sure we line up the corners. We've got two sides and one right down the middle. For me, with a perfectly straight bead of glue. Hank wiping up my mess, thank you very much. Last little bit on the edges here before we place our front piece. Not necessary, but we used a air nailer to pin nail our pieces together before we use screws. Flipping this puppy over, being careful not to break it, I would probably cry. Marking every six inches for where I'll be pre-drilling for my screws. Using a countersink bit, I pre-drilled holes all along my platform. Using the pre-drilled holes, I then screw in all along my platform. Moment of truth, will it fit in? Let's find out. Ooh-wee! That's a beautiful moment right there. As you can tell, there's space in front and behind of my wheel wells, but I just wanted to keep it simple. Could have traced everything, but those areas actually work pretty well for storage. Honestly, we could make it even less complicated and just... Learning from experience of my last build, I knew this time I wanted to widen the sleeping area of the top half of this platform to allow for much more space shoulder-wise, especially when my girlfriend and I are camping, no one's pushing anybody off. Using a jigsaw, I cut out the notches required for this top piece to slide nice and snug right up against my doors. Lucky for me, it fit perfectly the first time around. Hank decided he was going to take responsibility for the drawer, which I'm glad he did because it turned out absolutely perfect. Installing the sides, the Gorilla Glue, few pin nails to hold it in before we use our screws. Using a square, make everything nice and flush before we go ahead and counter screw everything nice and tight. Another moment of truth, will it fit? Yes, it does. Sliding perfectly with no mechanisms needed. I'm a little over six feet. Now my platform isn't quite that, nor is the space in this vehicle when I'm in the driving position which means I need to build a little extension. Using these brackets, an extra piece of wood, I got the job done. Making my marks. Learning from my last build, I knew I wanted to put this extension into two pieces. That way, when I'm solo camping, I can have the driver's seat in the driving position and this right side for my sleeping. In case of emergencies, I can just drive off, not a problem. When there's two people sleeping in this, however, I can simply lift up the other extension, move the seats all the way forward, and there's no problems. You know the drill. See what I did there? A few more countersunk screws to keep everything nice and sturdy and tight. Voila. Now Hank is doing his measurements for the faceplate of the drawer. We decide to add a little extra space on either side of the drawer so that in the future if I want to install rails, I could do so. But until then, 
we decided to cut in one and a half inch by four foot slices of wood on either side of the drawer to allow it to slide nice and smooth. Hank finishing up on the drawer, adding the face plate and making sure everything's nice and square turned out amazing. Marking our measurements for our handle. We're going to be using a jigsaw for this process. Look at you go, holy! We tried using a router, but we didn't quite have the right bit. So this was mostly done with a jigsaw, and I must say, it turned out great. Doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> Come on, Andy. Ooh wee! Hank, you outdid yourself! Yeah. Dude! All right, eh? You do that all day. With a little bit of help, we gave this drawer a good test. Go for it, you're strong enough. Yeah, Whoa. go for it, pull, 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 keep going, keep going. Whoa, nice job. Let's go. Here we are building a platform for my cooking stove as well as a cutting board. We nailed a strip of plywood onto the sides 5 8 yeah. from the top that the lids will sit nice and flush. Five course meal coming right up. This build is really starting to come together. Now that is a beautiful camping kitchen if I've ever seen one along with a nice storage cubby for my fishing rod and camping chairs and whatever else I would need to put in there. Eight hours later and I must say I'm extremely happy and proud of the way this build came out. And I call that a wrap. Yes sir. Dude. This is wicked. <laughs> Let's give you additional, man. And that right there is me building the new version 2 sleeping platform for my rig. Love it.